thank you for joining us tonight on our special online Advent series here at RPC. Today has been a great day. We've worshiped together and we've had uh, food and gifts and all those things with our families and we know you're probably sitting at home today in the afterglow of all of that and we just pray you've had a wonderful time today. We want to focus our attention upon the Lord for just a few moments tonight as we finish this series. Our theme tonight is adoration and to adore. You know, in the busyness of Christmas and all the things that go along with it, uh, getting gifts, preparing for the parties, those, those things are all wonderful and it's part of the fun of Christmas, really. And we enjoy that so much. But if we're not careful, we really can lose sight of Christ. On that first Christmas, they came and they worshiped. They adored. The angels sang to him. The shepherds worshiped him. Uh, when the magi, the wise men, when they came, they worshiped the Lord. Mary and Joseph, the Bible says, pondered all these things. Mary did in her heart. But there was an attitude of reverence and worship and adoration because Jesus was the center of it all. There's an old saying that says, Jesus is the reason for the season. And I know that's so cliche and that it's kind of overused. But it is truth. I'm reminded of a story of a small town in West Virginia just a few years ago. They had a nativity scene at their local city hall. They were a little worried about some political fallout and saying the right things and doing the right things. And when they had their nativity scene, uh, they had... They had some sheep there. They had some donkeys. Uh, they, they had a few farm animals. They had some people dressed up as shepherds. But there was no Mary, and there was no Joseph, and there was no baby Jesus. And people would drive by to see it, and they commented on that night, where is, where is Jesus and Mary and Joseph? And they began to scramble. The national news kind of caught wind of it, and it drew a little bit of attention to them. The city administrator said, well, we got to be careful about separation of church and state. The mayor said some things about, well, it was a little too crowded in that small manger scene that we had, so we just did the best that we could. And that really is an example of how our world is moving away from Christ. The truth is Jesus is the center of it all. Jesus is the reason that we worship. He's the reason that all of this happens because God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Today, he is worthy of our worship and worthy of our adoration. That word adore means to worship deeply. And I want to ask you tonight, have you worshiped the Lord deeply this Christmas season? Have you spent a few moments just in his presence, just basking in his glory because the truth is when you get into his presence just in the simplicity of some times of worship you'll catch a fresh vision you'll see the Lord in ways you haven't seen him in a long time you'll hear a fresh word God will begin to speak to your heart the gospel of John tells us in John 1 the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld the glory of the Father through the only begotten Son. You'll get that fresh revelation from Him. He'll begin to transform things in your life. But He must become the center of your attention and your focus. And Sharon and I wanted to do this tonight. It's just very simple. But we wanted to spend just a few moments worshiping the Lord. Maybe you're there at home. You're uh, cleaning up after the gifts have been unwrapped. Maybe the kids are asleep. Maybe they're not. Uh, maybe it's pandemonium at your house, but we wanted you to spend some time with us just worshiping the Lord. And so we're just going to lead in a few songs. And wherever you're at tonight, take just a few moments just to come and deeply worship the Lord, just in the simplicity of Christmas, the simplicity of coming before the Savior. The angels came and they sang. Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth. The shepherds worshiped. The wise men, when they showed up, they worshiped. They bent their knee. Tonight, let's join them and let's worship the Lord together. Oh, 
Come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Christ the Lord. Let's give Him the glory. We'll give him all the glory. We'll give him all the glory. We'll give him all the glory. down into darkness and open my eyes and let me see the beauty that made this heart adore you the hope of a life spent with you sing it with us here I am to worship here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're altogether lovely, altogether worthy, altogether the king of all days oh so highly exalted glorious in heaven above humbly came to the earth you created and all for love's sake became poor So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're altogether lovely and altogether worthy, altogether wonderful to of this right here. I never know how much it cost to see my sin upon that cross. Oh no. I never know how much it cost to see my sin upon to bow down here I am to say that you're my God you're all together lovely all together worthy all together wonderful to me 
Lord, we worship you today. We thank you, Father, for what you've done for us. We thank you, Lord, that you came to this earth and gave your life a ransom for many. And we come and adore you. Oh, come, let us adore you. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. We worship you. Worship Him tonight. We love You, Lord. We glorify Your name in all the earth. Oh Lord, we do. Oh, we praise You, Oh Lord. There's none like You, Oh God. You're so worthy, God. Worship you. We praise your name. We praise your name. Oh Lord. We worship. Fill hearts and lives. I believe somebody that's just sitting here watching tonight, you've been depressed, you've been worried. The peace of God is touching your heart. Thank you, Lord. The life giving presence of the Lord Jesus Christ is touching you even now. He loves you, He's healing you. Some of you are hurting, you're, you're dealing with pain and loss tonight. The Lord is touching your heart and your life. That's it. Just respond to Him. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We'll praise His name forever. We'll praise His name. Thank you for joining us tonight. Stay close to him the rest of this holiday season. He loves you. We love you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us again.